Are you ready for a quick and easy weeknight meal? Well, give these chicken cream cheese stuffed bell peppers a try. You won't be disappointed. All right, the first thing we wanna do to get started to making our chicken stuffed bell peppers, we've got two cups of chicken breast here. You can grill you some chicken, you can buy rotisserie chicken, you can boil you some chicken, you can braise it, you can do however you want it. Two cups of shredded chicken breast. I'm gonna take a little bit of my chicken season here and put in here just for a little bit of flavor. I've got a softened block of cream cheese in here. Now, I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prep. I like red and yellow bell pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in half, core them out, and get them ready to stuff before we make our mixture up. All right, now that we've got our peppers halved and de-seeded, right? Now I've got one half that I'm gonna cut up and put in here with some green onions and some seasoning. So let's dice this up and get it in. Now I'm gonna dice these a little bit fine here. You can omit these or add more or add jalapenos. It's kind of whatever you want. Now let's get some green onions here. I'm gonna cut a little bit of those off there. Get a little bit of handful of green onions in there. All right, now let's get ready to mix it up. All right, we've got most of our ingredients in the bowl. I'm gonna take a little bit of Italian seasoning here and dump about a tablespoon in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more chicken rub, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put a little bit in the dish and then I'm gonna turn around once these peppers cook about 20 minutes, pull it out and shave a little more fresh Parmesan over it to kind of melt on top. All right, we've got about a quarter cup in there. So now let's get it all mixed up and get it molded in our peppers. Now you can kind of see how one block of cream cheese is here with the veggies. Now you can take and you can add more cream cheese, you can add cheddar, you can add jalapeno, you can add whatever you like. Just make sure that it's mixed up good and incorporated here is all you're trying to do. Once you get it all mixed up, let's grab a handful here and start stuffing them in some peppers. Now I'm not only gonna stuff four of these, I'm gonna make them big and hearty. I'm gonna take a little bit more chicken rub, barely dust on top here, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of Parmesan cheese here and just do a little bit on top for now. All right, now just a little useful tip. You don't have to do this, it's completely up to you. I'm cooking today in my Alpha wood-fired oven, so I'm gonna put about a half a cup of chicken broth in my pan. And I'm gonna cover this pan loosely with foil here and just let my peppers cook and get hot. And then the last 10 or 15 minutes, that's when I'll take the foil off and let them kind of crust up and brown up on top. And I'm putting a little bit of liquid in here because a little bit of steam is gonna help those peppers get translucent. All right, our chicken stuffed bell peppers have been on our alpha oven for roughly 30 minutes. At the 20 minute mark, I eased in there with a thermo pen, slid the skillet out and checked them. They were about 105 degrees, 110, so I left them in another 10 minutes. They're pushing close to the 140 mark now. I'm gonna go ahead and get them off, take them on my cutting board and shave some fresh Parmesan on top of them. Then I'm gonna return it to the cooker for about another 10 or 15 minutes and let it get good and golden and bubbly on top. All right, our peppers have been in here another 10 minutes and I can tell you the color is looking great. Let's get them out. Oh, would you look at that Parmesan cheese and kind of melt it up and crust it up. That looks great. All right, our cream cheese stuffed bell peppers are off the grill and just to recap, we took two cups of shredded chicken, a block of cream cheese, some green onions, a little bit of red bell pepper diced up, some Italian seasoning, some of my chicken rub, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. We mixed it up and molded it all in half bell peppers, cut in half and de-seeded. I then put it in my alpha oven at about 400 degrees, covered with foil for about 30 minutes. I then removed the foil, pulled it off, grated fresh Parmesan cheese on top and returned it for about 10 minutes till it had a nice, good, golden, crisp color. Now there's only one thing left to do and that's get in here and try some. I can tell you the smell is incredible. I know the taste is gonna be even better. Instead of plating up today and all that, I'm gonna try this because we're fixing to have this for dinner tonight. I'm gonna get in here and cut a little piece off. 
It had some nice crisp cut to it. Mmm. The flavor I'm picking up from that little bit of Italian season mixed with my chicken rub with the herbs that's already in it. The cream cheese and the chicken and the bell pepper, the green onions, it all comes together so well. This is a good, easy, nice, quick, you can cook it in under an hour. You can do it in the pizza oven like I've done it. You can do it on your smoker. You can even do it in the house in the oven. It doesn't matter. This recipe is absolutely delicious though. If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.